Aumsum was walking happily in the park when suddenly a throbbing ache began in his head. At first, it was light, but soon every step made it pound harder. Aumsum wondered, what exactly is a headache? To find out, Aumsum shrank himself and traveled inside his own head. He landed in a network of blood vessels and nerves that surrounded the brain. The brain itself rested quietly. But the blood vessels were beginning to widen and stretch. Their walls expanded like balloons filling with water. Around these vessels were sensitive nerves. As the vessels stretched, the nerves lit up like glowing wires. They fired urgent signals, as if sounding an alarm. Aumsum followed the flashes huh? and saw the messages racing toward the brain's pain centers. The brain itself could not feel pain directly. It had no pain sensors. Each message was like a drumbeat. And the more the vessels pulsed, the stronger the ache became. The storm of signals grew more intense. Huh? Om Sum staggered as the area around him throbbed in rhythm with the heartbeat. It felt like the whole head was echoing with pressure. The vessels kept stretching while the nerves fired without rest. That was the pounding headache he felt outside. Finally, Om Sum floated out. Now he understood what a headache really is. Aumsum was lying under the night sky, gazing at the sparkling stars. His eyes rested on Pluto, glowing faintly at the edge of the solar system. He remembered it was once called the Ninth Planet, but no longer carried that title. <laughs> Curious to know why, Aumsum spread his arms and soared into space. He zoomed past Mars, darted by the storms of Jupiter, and glided over Saturn's dazzling rings. At last, he reached Pluto, a small icy world where the sun looked like a tiny dot in the sky. Omsum landed on its frozen ground. Suddenly, the calm silence broke. From the swirling Kuiper belt came a rush of icy debris. Huh? Huge boulders of rock and ice tumbled through space, making the orbit crowded and messy. Aumsum quickly recalled the three rules of being a planet. The first was orbiting the sun, which Pluto did. The second was being round in shape, which Pluto was. But the third rule demanded clearing the neighborhood. Huge boulders of rock and ice were swirling wildly in Pluto's neighborhood. Pluto tried hard to pull them away with its gravity, but to no avail. Twisting and dodging, Aumsum finally escaped the storm of debris. Catching his breath, he understood the answer. Pluto could not clear its orbit, and that was why it was called a dwarf planet.